This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. We're at the Mobile Beat Las Vegas DJ Conference. And of course, a lot of you have heard us talk about the Yamaha speakers, and I'm a huge fan of the Yamaha speakers. They have a great sound. But the sub has been a question. People have been asking, you know, we've been talking about the DXS12 sub. We've had some videos with that. Well, now we've got the chance to listen to the DXS12. And over there, we've got the DXS15. And we're going to listen to both of those, and then I'm going to give you some thoughts on that. And we're going to be pretty critical about uh, the sound difference between the two, because I want you to get an idea of what difference there are between having a 12 and having a 15. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little music through this and give you an idea. Of course, the microphone on a camera is somewhat limited, so it's not going to give you a great sound. But I guess that's why I'm here, and I'm going to kind of tell you about what the differences are. So let's put a little music to it. Go ahead. So of course they sound really good, and just for those who are wondering, usually we've been running with the, the DXR8s at the top, well today we've got the 10s at the top, and we have it so they're, they're set where they're rolling up the frequencies at 100, so all the lows that we're hearing are really coming from this, so it sounded great, of course we kind of knew that would be the case, but now the one we're going to try is the 15, so let's pop over there and try the 15s. So over here we've got the Yamaha DXS 15s. Now of course they're a little bit larger. What's the weight difference, John? Uh, about 10 pounds. So they're about 10 pounds heavier than the DXS 12s. And of course the DXS 12 is a, is a hefty unit because you're talking, we're talking real wood with this. This isn't a plastic cabinet. We've got wood, we've got solid components. There's some weight there, but yet it's very, very easy to handle. handle. It's got a couple of handles on the side and pretty easy to pick up and maneuver. This has got a 950 watt amplifier and it's got the same electronics as the 12. It's just that really the big difference is it's tuned a little bit differently and it's got the 15 in it. So we can push a little bit more air and that's what we want to hear. So John, can you play that same track, but we're doing it with the same tops. So actually, excuse me, we've got the 12s over here. We've got the DXR 12s on the top, but we've got the 15s on the bottom. So let's play a little music and see the song. Listen to the DXS12 and the DXS15. One thing I noticed, and you might have noticed, I was kind of in front of both of them. Well, when I'm in front of the 15, I was actually feeling, and the volumes were both the same. It's actually feeling air coming out, and it was actually kind of rumbling in the pant like a little bit. I didn't feel that on the 12, which is kind of a surprise. I didn't expect there to be that much of a difference, but you know, dynamics with air pushed with the 15 compared to the 12, there's going to be a little bit of difference. Another thing you'll see is on the ratings. The 15 can get a, give you a little bit more volume than the 12 can. So if you're needing to do a little bit larger events, you're going to need the 15. If you're doing smaller things, smaller weddings, um, even some small high school or junior high type events, the 12 can get you there. Is it going to be perfect? Probably not. If you're doing that type of stuff, you better be best to jump up to the 15. But for portability and ease of use, either one will be great, but the 12, again, is about 10 pounds lighter if that becomes an issue for you. So, Check them out. I think they both sounded fabulous, but again, 15 just gives you a little bit more. This is John Young at the Mobile Beat Las Vegas DJ Show looking at the Yamaha DXS series of subs.